Hey guys, so earlier this week at E3, we got an announcement for Batman VR coming to PlayStation 4. So let's talk about it. So for those of you who are not familiar with PlayStation VR, it's Sony's virtual reality headset set to release for October 13th, uh, 2016. MSRP listing at the moment is $399 and that's for the unit just by itself. It lists PS4 software sold separately um, and I'm assuming that that's just when you purchase the console, you'll be able to download it from their store or whatnot. But uh, aside from that, there's also a bundle you can get with PlayStation Worlds going for $4.99. If you want to get, you know, the camera, um, the, the two sticks that come with it, and also the game as well. I uh, also want to talk a little bit about how it works. So now the lights that you're seeing on the, uh, the outside of the unit itself, they're actually feeding information into the PlayStation camera to capture the movement uh, as you look around in gameplay and also if you're not a fan of the sticks you can also just use your your DualShock 4 controller uh, instead now as for Arkham VR Sony and Rocksteady have shared very little with us but in an interview with PlayStation Sefton Hill founder of Rocksteady Studios mentioned that the trilogy as far as the previous games is done you know so this one's gonna be a whole new take and it's gonna be very detective driven type of story and as far as like the fight sequences and melee um, combat, it's, it's going to be more of him getting out of tight situations. You're going to have your batarangs and your grappling hooks and things like that. Um, and he's also mentioned that uh, it's been designed from the ground up as a VR Batman game and not just one that's uh, a revamped version of the previous games. And when he said also that Jim Lee and Jeff Johns were got a chance to play the game and they loved it. So I think it's huge that we got, you know, their two cents on it as well, too, and saying that they really loved and enjoyed the game as well. Being two huge uh, icons as far as uh, illustrations, productions and, uh, and writing on the Batman character in the comics. Also, I want to mention if done right, this could be a great opportunity for a Superman game done correctly uh just with the scopes of flying around as superman in first person catching vehicles and just all the crazy stuff that he does you know vr may be the only way to do that right but i guess we'll have to see in the i guess the next year or so see what happens all right so that's gonna do it for this video as always leave your comments below like subscribe and we'll do it again next time all right later